and welcome to Joy News Interactive. I'm Abita Sividi and later on I'll be joined by Brennis Abubedu. You can watch the show on DSTV Channel 421 and Go TV Channel 144. And if you want to get on the interactive train, we are Joy News on TV on Facebook and Twitter. We are also coming to you live from the digital address 099-334 here in Kukumemle, Accra. So on our radar today is the self-confessed wife beta. That video has been gaining a lot of traction. So well, how many times do people have to confess on camera to beating their wives? I have very strong opinions on this, but let's watch the video first. I beat my wife, that was on 20th September 2017. I was from farm. When I came to the house, I told my wife to fetch water for me to bath. She did not. That she was doing it, uh, another thing again. I decided to go and beat my wife. I beat, she was even pregnant. I beat and I used my leg when I was beaten. We went and just took them as our wife. And what we did, we just think we have bought the women. And that make us not to show some kind of respect to them. Uh, we see them nothing. I've seen today what the doctor have did to the lady. I'm very sorry. Now that we give respect to our wife from now, if I go, even go into my house, I will tell what I've saw, what the doctor is doing to the lady. We will give respect to them. I'm telling all concombers and all the relatives, let's give respect to the women. The women are suffering because of us. So, Governor Tijani John says he has repented. Do you believe him? We're going to take some of your Facebook comments on that video that we posted. And the first comment is from, let's see if we can get those Facebook comments coming up. Let's see if we can get those Facebook comments. So, the first one is from Dimple Dorrance who says, I wish our hospitals allow husbands to take part in delivering their babies or go into the theater to see how the CS is done on their wives, uh, just like it's done in the Western world. Dimple got seven replies. Let's see if we can get a few of those replies. And Dicta says they do. And Sika says, I wish God will give them some of our labor pains so they can better appreciate us. And Kwesi Apong Rule says, labor pain is not the biggest pain on this earth. And Fed Frederick says, Dimple Dorrance, the biggest pains on earth for a man, for a woman, is when the husband has no respect for her. Labor ward is not as painful as losing your respect and dignity to your husband. I have been to labor ward five times and all of these I was with my wife throughout. And it's only the fourth born. Kolibu sacked me from the room. I hate her pregnancy, vomiting for three, for nine continuous months. No food stays in her stomach for five minutes. The only thing she can survive on is morning tea. And Dimple comes back to say, please, which hospital? If not, some few private hospitals. And with that self, it's not compulsory and it's by choice. So how many people can afford private hospitals in Ghana? And Dimple comes back and says, well, well done. Your wife is a lucky woman. God bless your home. So those are your comments. Let's see if we can get more comments. Briar Jeremiah says, this is a bad case out of the worst case in our society. Our ladies go through a lot of unfair treatment in the hands of their male counterparts. God bless the woman. And F was says, the educated northerners don't behave like that. All my uncles treat their wives like queens and with respect. This man, pa, you are not serious to beat a pregnant woman and talking boldly about it. Still a proud northerner though. And Marvin Travis says, I respect ladies to the fullest, but most of them are ungrateful. I'm saying this from experience. I gave my all to this Ghana girl and yet she doesn't appreciate it. Let's see if we can get two interesting replies on Marvin Travis's comment. If we can see if we can get two replies. Uh, in the meantime, Mame says, see his face. How can you beat your wife? Is she your slave? And Kwesi Apong Rule says, you just post this so the ladies hit your inbox. 
and we take more comments where Osita says, maybe the gods of your ancestors are not happy with you, but before now that you have repented, may God have mercy on you and help you to love your wife unconditionally. Okay, more comments we're going to take is from Alice Afari who says, hmm, so this man is happy saying this, how do you justify this? Women go through a lot, especially during pregnancy, which needs care and affection but not beating. No matter how badly your wife behaves during pregnancy, don't beat her. Any man who beats his wife can also beat his mom. Let's stop violence against women now. Let's see if we can take more comments. From Nero who says, I met one married woman recently and she told me if she's not being beaten by the husband, she doesn't feel loved. And Sika says, I'm going to start a self-defense class for women in Ghana. Any man that tries to beat his wife will meet his equal. And like, and the way we like to say it in Ghana, will meet his meter. And two replies on Sika's comments. Let's see if we can get those. But in the meantime, we'll take Samuel who says, Jojo Kwabana. Okay, Jojo Kwabana, you are my man. In fact, you guys are drawing you are really fantastic. Love your work, guys. And Kwesi Upon Rule said, so what about the women who beat their husbands? What classes should be organized for them? And Nana Owusu says, please, there's nothing you can do about it. Women are to be under men, according to the Bible, Quran, and even our traditional culture, but I hate men who beat their wives. I'm not sure if I agree with that reply, that women are under men according to the Bible. And Thomas Sermon says, please, we're about chopping Christmas. Stop posting people like this. And Jerry says, Oga police, is there any animal prison in Ghana carry to please carry this animal and send him now is an order. And Richie Lai says, ignorance can be educated by stupidity lost forever. You have forgiving. So these are your comments on the man, the self-confessed repentant who beat his wife when he, she was pregnant. earlier I'll be joined by Bernice Abubedu and she's here Bernice. Great to be here my You're Peter. looking absolutely lovely. Thank you, so oh, are you. Good thank to you. be here. Thank you. So what do you think about this? No. All right, um, I know quite a number of people have been hard on this gentleman, but I'd like to see it from the positive angle. Okay. So he says he's repented, he's sorry, and for me that should be the focus. The focus should not be that He's confessing to beating his wife. But the fact that uh -huh. he says that after seeing my wife, uh, you know, go through a cesarean section, I actually think that I shouldn't be doing this to her. And then he comes on to say, I am actually encouraging people like myself not to do that. So uh, for me, I, I'm just trying to see the positive uh you know aspect of all of this i understand but then if every male who beat the the, the wife or sister or mom or whatever came to say okay i apologize because some labor i saw i saw my mom or my sister in labor so i like forgive me i, I don't understand max there, 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 really, to, uh -huh. max there are a lot of things that influence ca character and attitude change of course so for this man it just happens to be that he witnessed a cesarean section for other people um, they need to actually face the law, yes. then they, they, and then they are repentant. But there are many ways. What do we want? We want attitude or change in attitude, and that's what and we are getting. So, for me, I think, yeah. But then you okay. must face the music. If you are able, if you're man enough to beat your wife, he you said he's sorry. He said he's sorry. It's not enough. Honestly, for me, it's not enough. I don't okay. feel like it's enough. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe he needs to face the law. Okay. In my opinion, I think he needs to face the law. 
Yeah, sorry. Uh, no. Yeah. Math. Yeah, sorry. Okay, that's cool. But face the law. Okay, so let me just give a, a bit of background. This, so I'm sure um, if you've been watching Joy News, you've seen that Let's Be Fair campaign. Yes. And we brought you a story of a woman uh, who was actually in labor, um, being taken to the hospital on a bad road. All right, so this woman <laughs> actually meets our crew uh -huh. and they take her in our vehicle to the hospital. So there were a lot of complications. Cut a long story short, she delivers a baby through cesarean section. And, and this man walks to Jojo and says, you know what, I want to speak. Yeah. So it wasn't Jojo who went to him and said, can I have an interview with you? This is the man who said, let me tell you what this whole thing I witnessed here has done to exactly. me. And I, and I think that, hey, I mean, it's, 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 a good, uh, it's a good thing. It's a good thing, but I don't know, man. If, yeah. I don't know. I really don't know. Okay, yeah. but, but just as we have <laughs> varied, I mean, different opinions, yeah. we had varied opinions on our Facebook page. So, well, it tells you that, yeah, a lot of people think it's, it's a positive thing like myself, but you don't agree, so. I didn't say it's not a positive thing, mm -hmm. but he needs to face the law. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. So, Bernice, what are you here to do? Most video? All right, okay. So today I'm just going to be telling you our most watched videos, mm. which had over 900,000 views. And it's that interview with uh, Imeka Ike, my colleague and our colleague. Yeah. Uh, um, Becky. Becky, sorry. No our problem. colleague Becky actually had that interview. And it was it also had to do with relationship. You okay. know, it's a Friday and we, we get it quite easy. Relationship Friday. And then, you know, he... He said a lot of things about mm. his divorce with his wife and all that. That was a pretty good one. Over 900,000 views, a big one for us. And then uh, that was followed by our very own former President Rawlings. Uh, he had a lot of things to say about former President John Kufuor um, in regards to how they treated Ghana's first president, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. Uh, maybe we'll just show you what that video is and why it's our second most watched video. Kuma, while he was alive, he had his enemies. His enemies also saw him as an enemy to them. Yeah. Many years later, why not go here? Madame Fatia, Nkrumah, the wife, no. Then I go for here. Okra, no coffee, no. Madame Fatia, no coffee. Or this channel, I go to dream. No more dream. No, I'll fight. And get you towel. No, yes, sir. Uh, uh, oh, oh, you say, oh, 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 super. I'm a madam for dear. Now, yes, you're a young, you know, now you're a dinner cheek. Well, now, yes, oh, go for it, you say, oh, you're a papa, oh, 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 yes, we are fire hanging, yes, we are, yes, we be. Oh, you know, go for it. Oh, honey. Of a speed, not the tree hole next to Dr. Kwame Nkrumah no grave, no, no coffee, no. No, 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 that's no, that's no, or the tree grave, no, no, the uh, Madame Fazia will show. From that moment, from that moment, that national monument that we built to honor that man became a family graveyard. Do you see how his, his grave was desecrated? Obiyahu, Mills Moo, John Moo, who in Amusi Buya and Kumais. You are. So, Mapita, I'm sure you know, if you haven't seen that video, you may understand why it's our second most watched video. But we also had a couple of big stories this week, Maps. Um, one of them was that uh, unfortunate incident that occurred at Legon, yeah. the alleged murder uh, of a former student there. We're still not getting a lot of response from the police, uh, but we hear that the suspect is still in custody. And uh, we'll be bringing you updates as and when they're available uh, to us. But that was a pretty sad one. Yeah that we had. We also had a quite um, some heavy news on meningitis because we reported cases of other deaths in schools and uh, what we are hearing today uh, the Kumasi Academy is receiving some uh, vaccines mm -hmm. but the DS is not directly linked to meningitis that's just for swine flu but we know that that's where the reports started from Kuma Kumasi Academy 
uh, reported meningitis, which we later learned was swine oh, flu. Yeah. But in other uh, places like uh, Okofodia Secondary Technical School, Boku Secondary Technical School, we've had uh, reported cases of um, uh, meningitis and in Damongo as well. And also, Charlotte to say, yeah. and uh, you know that whole petition uh, for her impeachment or removal uh, is ongoing. The, the, the president has forwarded it to the chief justice. The chief justice has found out, well, there's a case to be looked into. And uh, she says that, okay, at least let me see what this petition is, the petition you received. And so that was what we brought you this week. And uh, Leila Jansi, who is a, a movie producer, I'm sure you know her by now, yeah. very vocal Leila Jansi. Uh, she's commented on it, Maps, and uh, right behind you on our Facebook page. Uh, if you can just read that out. So she says, poor Charlotte Osei, just because you're a woman, just because you're a beautiful married woman, and they can't accuse, they can't accuse being, you being a whore to tempt, temper their pride and insecurities. Just because you're a smart and firm woman, just because you're a strong woman, stay strong, Charlotte, because you're a woman. It's what we do. I love that. I love that. Woman power. Isn't oh, it? I love that. Very interesting right up there. Leila is, she's very vocal. And uh, she was actually commenting on that story uh, where she wrote a petition. But Kofi says, what has been a woman got to do with this? You always make it look like women are weak. And Leila comes back to respond, says, not weak, bullied. bullied. And you've got to be a woman to understand. Oh. And Interesting. And Aqua says, uh, Leila, she also petitioned that her deputy be removed from office. You, nothing wrong with it, but you decide to write about another. Is it because she's a member of your party? Okay. Mm. All right. Interesting, Interesting comments, comments there. there. Yeah. Uh, the park we see Parker says sometimes playing this card doesn't work. So uh, women are, are now angels. So he's asking, you don't always have to play the feminist card, do you? I mean, I feel like we always need to play the feminist card. Mm. The feminist card should always be played. All right. Yeah. Park we see Parker doesn't think so. And Anna K says, wasn't the former chief justice a woman? Isn't the current chief justice a woman? So is she now an angel uh, that she falls short in some way? What has she, what has been a woman got to do with this? Be a woman of substance and, and just don't follow blindly. And that comes back to say, do they control votes? Mm -hmm. Is Charlotte's position not too neutral, which gives her ultimate power? Charlotte makes a precedent and makes the parliament. You should not look at things so loosely. So uh, there you have it. We'll take a quick breather, Maps, mm -hmm. and we'll come back with the Christmas flavor. It's 10 days. 10 I'm days. feeling it. 10 days. <laughs> 10 days. We'll be back. <laughs> Let's get started. It's 10 days to Christmas. Well, legend tells us that if, you, if you've been good during the year, Santa Claus will make your wish come true. Christmas weighs a magic wand over the world and behold, everything is softer and more beautiful. If you were granted one Christmas wish, what would it be? Furnace? Ah, one Christmas wish. <laughs> Do I have to share it? Yes. So why no, not? I mean, yeah. No, come on. <laughs> okay, maybe your second wish. If you don't want to tell us your first wish, give us a My second, second wish. wish. Yeah. I like to see Ghana better than it is. I mean, I just wish I wake up on Christmas Day and there's no filth and there's no yeah, yeah, yeah. partisan politics and I wake up and the everything is working, everyone has electricity, our health system is fixed. You know that magical world. Okay. I just want to wake up to that kind of Ghana, you know? Maybe maybe you? in the next five, ten years, twenty years, we don't know. Hopefully. Hopefully. But what, what would you like? What to about me? What's, your wish? <laughs> What's my wish? You really <laughs> What's your wish? What's my wish? Um, let me see. If I'm going to be self centered, just like one million dollars. Is that all you were gonna ask for? Just just, I'll just ask one for, million dollars. I'll ask for one billion dollars. No, just one million dollars. You don't okay. have to be greedy, you know? <laughs> you don't have to be greedy. One million all dollars right. is okay. So Mops, we asked, you know, all of you who watch us and uh, who are also very uh, interactive with us on Facebook, what your wish would be, Maps? And let's take the first comment from Jean Mason who says, New car seats from my nineteenth month old girl and boy twins. They have nearly outgrown their infant seats. Oh, and we're saving up to hopefully get some soon and Yana Yao says many many beautiful and happy returns the decisions we make affect our style of living and not by the celebrations we get and Joseph says I need some money to do some small party for some kids in the village I am Aww. and Bernice what does Prince Prince Nuri Rudin do? is actually saying that we live to see another year with good health and mm -hmm. prosperous living Emmanuel Amenio says open the box and not to be excited about the box 
this is very strange. I am not sure what he's trying to say. But Edward Miller says, Happy Christmas and a prosperous new year. Upon a child's size and says, This Christmas uh, cry is the Thanksgiving time, not celebration. And Joe Weston says, I want to encounter God during this Christmas season, at least for once. Very interesting. Very interesting. Mm. So, Bernice, that is the end of Joy News Interactive. Remember, if you want to catch the interactive train, it's on Facebook and Twitter. We are Joy News on TV. So, that'll be all for the show. I'm Bernice Abubedu. And I'm Abito CBD. Thank you for watching.